So I keep getting asked this year, especially if people should wait to sell their homes in Winnipeg until spring of 2023, or if now in the late fall, winter of 2022, going into 2023 is a better time to sell. So stay tuned because I'm going to answer that question right away. Hi, I'm Jennifer Queen with the Jennifer Queen team and Remax Professionals here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and thanks so much for watching today, guys. So today I'm going to cover what is becoming an increasingly popular question of when is the best time, at least in the next six months to a year horizon, to sell your home in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And just keeping in mind too that I am being purely speculative at this point, just going on market trends and data that I have seen leading up to this point. Uh, just know that of course there's no crystal ball. I could be completely wrong on all of this. I hope I'm not, but I could be. So without further ado, let's get into it. So spring is often toted as one of the best markets to sell real estate in, and I totally understand why. However, the last two years have been an exception to that rule with uh, winter markets actually outdoing the later spring markets and just kind of buyer activity being all over the place. So should you wait to sell until spring of 2023? Let's talk this through. First, let's talk about the reasons people move. In no particular order, we've compiled a list of the most popular reasons that we get from our buyers and sellers for why they wanna move. Getting married, having children, moving to a different school catchment, or moving within catchment, but needing more space. Job relocation, divorce, health reasons, perhaps an aging population that no longer can upkeep their home, for instance, in terms of health reasons. Financial challenges or hardships, an inability to continue to afford their home, an inability to properly care for themselves in situations where somebody's selling a home to move into assisted living, say, and sometimes just being closer to family. You'll likely notice that those reasons given are lifestyle decisions and not purely monetary ones. And that's normal. Like most people don't sell their personal residence purely from a financial gains perspective because we don't view our homes necessarily as a commodity. There's a much more personal feel to living within your home. The truth though is, is there is almost never a way to properly time a market. Looking at long-term graphs, you might notice that the majority of increases in property value does happen in those spring markets. However, there, there's no guarantee. Also, if you look, there are usually more buyers looking in those spring markets, but there are also more listings being entered in those markets. Those are the most popular times to also list homes. What we have learned this year especially but in years previous in which we saw declining property values in Winnipeg, which only happened three times in the last 50 years, is that when there are increases in, in interest rates that Winnipeggers are especially sensitive to them. So if you see interest rates start to increase, there's usually a pullback from buyers in those periods of instability in which they are not comfortable purchasing a home. And guess what 2022 has been? a year of successive increases in interest rates at a rate far above anybody can really remember, to be honest. With each one of these interest rate increases, we actually noticed a decline in the buyer pool available. While it was common to see around 30 showings in a one week period at a lot of listings in early 2022, now we're grateful if we're getting between five and eight showings in that same week period. Just that alone shows how dramatically the buyer pool has dropped here. And I'm not even giving you the crazy numbers. Some listings were getting 100 showings in one week period. It could be argued they might have been slightly underpriced in those cases, but there are some homes that were actually priced accurately and still getting 100 showings in a one week period. So as a result in the declining buyer pool, we started to see more aggressive seller behavior too. So perhaps decreases in listing prices, more incentives being offered to buyers, and recent estimates that only 30% of the active listings on the market will actually sell. I wouldn't say that things are necessarily that dire in Winnipeg. However, if you're looking at the listing price on your home and using stats from 
early 2022 that you're already looking at unachievable numbers, unfortunately. You're gonna have to look further back than 2022. We're more at early 2021 pricing now. So those that sold anywhere from fall of 2021 to kind of March of 2022 are the ones that really did make out like bandits. Unless of course they were buying on the other side. So another thing you have to keep in mind too is we have another planned Bank of Canada overnight rate announcement coming in December. That's not news. The Bank of Canada sets interest rate announcements every year so that, and they're usually around like 45 days apart I find, um, so that this has been planned for quite some time. It's just a lot of the time you don't notice it because they just say we're going to keep the overnight rate the same so it's not newsworthy, nobody talks about it. However, this year we've seen successive increases at each one of these announcements, so that's why you're hearing about it so much in the news. Most speculation, although there is some hope because in October everybody was predicting the increase to be another 0.75% increase, but it was only 0.5, so perhaps there's some scaling back there, I don't know though. But most speculation is that still in December, we are going to see one more increase from the Bank of Canada. That's coming from the economists and bankers that I've spoken to. But honestly, there's no crystal ball, who knows? I'll post this regardless and then I could be flat out wrong come December, but that's okay. But what does it mean regardless of whether it does increase in December? or it stays the same, buyers are already nervous. They're incredibly nervous. They've seen the rate increases and the impact to their buying power already. So it's incredibly nerve wracking for buyers out there. We aren't going to see a return of that buyer confidence likely anytime soon until we've experienced a period of time in which the interest rates stay the same. So we're not there yet because our last announcement in October, rates went up. We don't know what's gonna happen in December yet, but if the rates go up again, I would again anticipate some further pushback from buyers and a further decline in that buyer pool. Now, all that being said, remember that buyers and sellers don't necessarily move for purely monetary reasons. They move because of lifestyle decisions. So there are always going to be buyers and sellers in any market. And we will likely see that influx of listings again in 2023, as well as that influx of buyer pool in 2023 as well. However, and I mean the big however, you have to keep in mind those interest rates and the impact it has on affordability. So will spring of 2023 be a better market for buyers to buy within? Probably not. Their interest rates are still going to be pretty high and there's still a period of instability so there won't be nearly as large of a buyer pool as what we might have seen in the past that are confident in buying at that time. You'll probably want to wait a little bit longer to see when a good time is to buy. Unless they're the very savvy buyers who are looking for a good deal at a discount. But at the same time, you can't always judge when to sell based solely on when you'll net the most money. Obviously, this is a life decision like I discussed already. And monetary reasons are the only reasons that people buy or sell. So if you're looking from a perspective of I want to net the most money sooner rather than later would be my advice to you. Otherwise, you might even want to wait till 2024 when I think the market will probably start coming back a little bit more as we see increased buyer confidence. Otherwise, live in your house and sell when it's right for you. Just know you might be taking a bit of a hit in terms of money. People that sold two months ago are doing, did better than people selling now. And that trajectory is expected to continue for a little while now until we start to see those interest rates stabilize for a longer period of time. Anyways, that's my two cents on it. I don't think there's ever a horrible time to buy or sell. It's just, you have to be savvy about the market you're within and if the timing is right for you, so. I hope you found value in this video today. Again, I'm Jennifer Queen with the Jennifer Queen team and Remax Professionals here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Feel free to hit that like button if you found value in this video today. It helps me in determining what kind of content to come up with next. Uh, also, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you continue to see our videos. And if you have any comments, leave them in the section below or if there's a video you'd like me to shoot, I would love to hear about it down there. Thanks again. Have a good one.